Hey YouTube, it's Joe here. It is August of 2023. It is smoking hot outside, but despite that, I braved the elements and I went out to my mailbox and got a retro game treasure box. Uh, for those of you who don't watch my videos or don't listen to what I tell you this, I'm gonna explain what a retro game treasure box is. It is a monthly subscription service from retrogametreasure.com. Uh, you go to their website, retrogametreasure.com, just said it. Um, you tell them what your preferences for games are. It's uh, <clears throat> three to five games in this particular box. Uh, they have Super Nintendo, Nintendo, N64. They have some disc-based stuff too. I try to stick with the cartridges but it's because I don't care about completeness with cartridges. And it's hit or miss when you do disc-based stuff. They do have a preferences survey you can fill out. You can tell them if you don't like sports games, kids games, etc. You can also um, add some additional notes in there that'll tell them like, hey, uh, could you try to send me a complete in-box GameCube game? It's gonna be kind of hard for them to do every time, so it's understandable if they can't do it. Uh, this box costs around $40 shipped, so it's not exactly a cheap service, but it's kind of fun because rather than going out to your local game store and trying to find a game <clears throat> that you want and paying those prices, whatever, um, you just get random stuff and you get surprised. It's not always a $40 value, but it varies from time to time. But either way, it's just kind of fun and exciting to see what they give you every month. Uh, with that, I'm gonna go ahead and open this box. I cut the tape, but I don't look inside before I show it to you guys. All right, so first off, packing material. Nice to have some of that extra stuff laying around. Actually, I probably have about a ton of it because I haven't been shipping a whole lot of stuff lately. Uh, just because I haven't been selling on Mercari. I used to always sell stuff on Mercari, but I just, between the fees and just uh, the headache, I, I don't do it as much anymore. Anyway, on with the box. So the first game is a Game Boy Advance game and it is The Incredibles. So I'm not sure how that fits into my preferences. I feel like I wouldn't have chosen to get a, you know, I think I talked about this last time too. It's like, I swear I tell them not to give me kids games, but to be honest, I haven't checked since the last time I opened a box, so it's probably my fault. Maybe I am telling them that just so I can get more games or something, I don't know. All right, next one feels like Game Boy, and it is Game & Watch Gallery 3. And there's kind of a glare there, so I apologize for that. That's kind of a neat one, something different. Okay. So it feels like uh, it's going to be a four game box this month, so that's kind of cool. Alright, next one is Super Nintendo, and that game is one I've never heard of, and it is called Vortex. I feel like this is not even like a first party game, or it's not like a licensed game. I can't believe I've never heard of it at all. But super clean label on that thing, though. It looks like it's brand new. So, Vortex, weird. All right, wonder what that one is. There's probably a bunch of you out there who know exactly what it is, but I've never heard of it. All right, last one feels like an NES game, and it's a good one. It is Adventure Island. Surprised I don't have that, I feel like I do, but I would have to search through all of those over there to find it. But I'll check my collection uh, tracker and see. I have it maybe, maybe I don't it's very possible but that again looks like a very clean game so that's good and with that that's all the treasure I got for this one that's what the inside of the box looks like in case you're curious all right let's uh take a look over these and kind of recap what we got for the month so started off pretty weak with that Incredibles game for Game Boy Advance probably the worst one of the of the bunch I'll say uh next one was Game & Watch Gallery 3 for Game Boy Color that one's pretty interesting uh this one's very interesting because I've never heard of it and that is Vortex for Super Nintendo very curious to see what that's about and I think this is the highlight for me and that's Adventure Island for NES I just know that's a good game and I'm amazed that I don't have it, but apparently I don't. Uh, or I bought it and didn't update the list on their website. That's one thing. 
that you got to be diligent about with the services <clears throat> they do populate the your collection list with the games that they send you but if you go out to the store and you buy 10 nes games and forget to put them in there there's a chance they're going to send you one of those because they don't know that you already have it and that's just the way it goes uh so overall impressions of this box i'm actually pretty happy with it i think i got a nice variety and uh so, you know at least one game i've never even heard of um you know and i'd say you know three out of four is pretty decent uh for a monthly box i'll have to check on the value and see if it's worthwhile but it feels like it's pretty good so um with that uh let me know if uh you have a, if you know about this vortex game in the comments down below if you liked what you saw give me a thumbs up for the video um if you want to see more of these i do on every month or i try to be fairly regular about doing one every month uh so subscribe to the channel and check those out if you like it uh, with that, thanks for watching.